Think today, hundreds of prisoners across the state released early thanks to a new law. And right here in Mobile County, more than 30 violent offenders are now free. Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch isn't too happy about it. Fox News reporter Ariel Mallory now joining us live from the Sheriff's Office. And Ariel, he told you some of those violent offenders or violent offenses included murder. Yeah, that's right. At least three murder convictions. Now, Sheriff Birch says the inmates will be taken to the county they were convicted in, which means at one point a large number of former inmates could all be together in one place. The sheriff says he doesn't feel the public safety was a factor in this new law. Release the low level offenders, not your murderers and rapists. I mean, you're releasing the worst of the worst back into the community. Tonight, Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch is not in favor of a new law that gives prison inmates early freedom. A mass release of up to 400 Alabama Department of Correction inmates started today, more than 30 from Mobile County. Sheriff Birch says the ones being freed were charged with some of the worst crimes. When I see at least three on here for murder, a couple for manslaughter, several rapes, you know, that, that's, that's not the people that we need just released back upon our community. Under the law before an inmate is released, a victim's family has to be notified first. Sheriff Birch feels this is a disservice to the families who fought so hard for justice. I think it's unjust for the victim's families when, you, when someone's taken someone from you, you've gone through a trial, you know, a sentence has been given, and then to learn that, you know, because of some legislators, they decided to change the sentencing guidelines and let these people out early. An inmate will also have to be fitted for an ankle monitor and frequently meet with their parole officer. Mm -hmm. Now the new now, the new law is supposed to cut down on overcrowding in the prisons. Now, there was a holdup today for some of the inmates because of a lack of notification to the families. It's unclear when all 400 will be let out. Live tonight at the Sheriff's Office, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.